Okay, what we want to do here is we want to compare CPI and inflation because students normally get quite confused. You know how to do both, but you sometimes tend to answer with the wrong one. And to compare CPI and inflation. Okay, let's look at the formula for the CPI. Okay, when we're looking at the CPI, okay, what we're going to look, we're going to look at the fixed basket for the current year. We're going to divide it with the fixed basket of the base year. And we're going to multiply that by 100. Okay, that's for your CPI. Okay, we want to compare that to inflation. With inflation, what we're going to do is we're going to look, remember what inflation is? Inflation is percentage change in price. Okay, percentage change, new minus old divided by old times 100. Okay, so new CPI minus old CPI, which is very likely to be your base here, divided by old CPI times 100. Okay, so remember the two different formulas for CPI and inflation. Okay, so what we can now do is calculate CPI. Just create some figures. Hang on, I'll just change the color. Okay, so we're going to calculate CPI. Remember with CPI, when we compare two years, we let the price change and we fix the quantity. We fix the quantity. So let's say, for example, we assume we have peanuts. Quantity is 5. And we have juice. Quantity is, let's say, 2. Okay? For both years. What years are we looking at? Doesn't matter. Let's just create something. Let's say we got the year 2005. And we got the year 2006. Okay? So we've got peanuts, we've got the quantity is 5, and let's say in 2005, the price is $2. So price times quantity, the peanuts is $10. In 2006, the quantity is still 5 because we fixed the quantity. Let's say the price went up to $3. So price times quantity... And the peanuts will be $15. Okay. And then we have the juice. Quantity is 2 in both periods. Let's say the price is $5 in 2005. So the total is $10. 2006. Quantity is fixed at 2. Let's say the price is $4. Total quantity is 8. So the total value of the fixed basket of the CPI in 2005 is $20 and for 2006 it is $23 okay so we have this information what we can do now is to calculate CPI for 2006 considering 2005 is the base year okay so we say base year 2005 which means CPI in 2005 will have the value of 100 okay so what we want to do now is to calculate CPI for 2006 okay what we're going to do we're going to use this formula over here current year is 2006 base year is 2005 so the fixed basket of the current year, 2006, is $23. That's the value, $23. Divided by the base year, $20. Multiplied by 100. 115. CPI in the year 2006 is 115. Okay, so what we can do now is look at inflation. Okay, I will ask the following question. 
what is the rate of inflation in the year 2006? By how much have prices risen in that one year from 2005 to 2006? Okay, well, you can answer that question by using the formula over here. New CPI minus old CPI divided by old CPI times 100. Old CPI is your base year 2005. New CPI, 2006. So, inflation in 2006 is going to be new CPI, CPI 2006, minus old CPI, CPI 2005, divided by old CPI, 2005, times 100. 115 minus 100 over 100 times 100. 15 over 100 times 100. The two 100s cancel each other out. And your answer is 15%. Okay? So that's your answer. 15%. So just compare the answer for CPI, which is 115, and the answer for inflation, which is 15%. When we ask you the question in the exam, are we asking you to calculate CPI or are we asking you to calculate inflation? Because you could understand the differences but give us the wrong answer, so be very careful.